Ah, yes, the Omega Library. Guys, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft. In today's episode, we're going to make this library look like a library and not like some sort of um, room with books in it. <laughs> that might be the definition of library. You know, I was thinking, instead of doing that, I should probably save some wood and use Silk Touch. The problem is I don't have a Silk Touch axe. Does he have a Silk Touch axe in one of those chests somewhere? Just a couple shovels in here, more shovels, swords, armor. I don't think he has a silk touch. Oh, oops. I don't think, oh, hold on, hold on. Silky touch. Let's add silky touch to an ax, shall we? He doesn't even have an ax. Come on, dude. Nothing. Just gonna go ahead and borrow a couple diamonds here. That's all I'm doing. Diamonds for me, diamonds for you. Do you have an anvil? Oh, maybe in his 4G place he has one. Or should I say, I have one. Uh, here we go. Perfect. Now we have a silk touch axe that we can use to take these books down so that I don't have to, like, redo them with wood afterwards. So the plan for today is to actually build um, a nice, cozy library. Like a library where you'd want to spend a lot of time in, gain a lot of knowledge, uh, do a lot of hushes. Shh. Shh. Hey. Shh. You hear a lot of that in libraries, too. Uh, maybe it's because I'm a noisy guy. <laughs> I've actually never been shushed at a library, just for the record. Um, so we're going to take all this stuff down. Oh, my gosh. Everybody who loves Eskal is going to be so mad at this. <laughs> guys, guys, it's my base now. Eskal has an even better. Eskal has two bases now. I mean, all I've got is this and then, like, the, the district. The What's it called? What did he call it? I don't even know. Uh, the, the farm district where he does farmy things i'm not a farmy kind of guy i'm a decorative kind of guy i like form over function which is interesting that we uh we traded places because he loves function over form i don't understand him at all beautiful a blank canvas to work with oh this is gonna be epic but first i've been summoned apparently impulse wants to talk to me there you are how but, you doing beef i'm good how are you I, i'm good i'm a little confused can you take off your helmet real quick? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I could take well, off everything if you'd like. How come you got, like, Iskal's eye thingy on? I mean, I took over his base. Okay? It's mine oh. now. And I, in order to okay. feel more at home, I feel like I need to have I need to have the, the Iskal look. So I created Beef Scal. Beef scow, I like it. Very nice. Way to blend. Hmm. I'm I'm see, I got stress's base. Should I be like stress pulse? <laughs> that sounds like a, some sort of a disease or something. I've got some. I, I I've got could stress change. <laughs> I could change the, my eye to a pink. That would probably do it. That that's that's about stress like right there. <laughs> I, that's that's good enough for me. I'm sure everybody uh, would be. They 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 wouldn't know the difference. Right. Exactly. <laughs> hey, so um, I wanted to give her a gift. Stress is a drummer. I'm okay. also a drummer, and I thought it'd be really cool to put a drum set inside of her bass. Okay. And so I came looking for your instrument shop, which yeah. is this one, right? It is this one. Yes. But I don't see any drum sets. Did okay. you sell out? No. Um. Yes. That they were so popular <laughs> <laughs> that they I sold see. out. Um. I can. Okay. I can always build more, though. That's the thing. That's the beauty about okay. um beefy tunes okay yeah so sweet because uh, yeah i wanted to see if you could come by stress's bass and uh, pop in a drum set she's got like this little stage setup and i'll show you in a oh, little bit oh no way okay but yeah that would be really cool how much uh how much is it gonna cost me i mean uh maybe i don't know five diamond no let let's go for you because i like your face isn't that what all the salespeople say? I like your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta butter me up, right? <laughs> because I like your face and your outfit and whatever else you you got on. Um, I'll do yeah. I'll do three diamond blocks. Three diamond blocks. Okay. Yeah. Most yeah. of my diamonds are in my, my secret bunker, which I, I don't want to talk about. Okay. But uh, <laughs> let me see. I did save some in here. Do you have? Uh, let's see. Three. I, I'll just do. You don't mind? I'll throw in an extra one. If you don't mind crafting your own blocks there. How's that sound? Oh, wow. That's okay. Your, yeah, little, I can do that. tip. I, I love tips. Mm -hmm. and, and maybe there's more from where that came from after I see oh, the drum oh, set. You know what I mean? Absolutely. We can make it happen. <laughs> All right. Let me show you where this thing needs to be. Okay. 
All right, B, if you see this gorgeous skull right here. Oh, absolutely. I've been here before. Look, there's me right at the entrance. Oh, yeah. I was wondering, <laughs> what, what, what's going on with this guy? Uh, he's just a happy guy. That's all. Okay. okay. That's He's it. just guarding guarding my door. Uh, <laughs> is my my base now. So that's right. Uh, but inside here, there's a little secret passage. Okay. And then we walk through here, and then up through here, and we we're going in Stress's brain. Don't be alarmed. It is a little weird. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, but, this uh, is yeah. beautiful over here. I've never seen this this little um I guess I don't know aquarium, but for bees. For a bee, yeah. Bee. She just has a, a pet bee in here. It's adorable. Uh, I think it has a name, but I, I don't know. Yeah, no. It's yours I now, I guess. You can name it's it whatever you want. I, you're right. I should come up with a new name for it. And there's this random chicken, too, that just kind of hangs out and pooping eggs and stuff all over the place. Let's see if we can give him a buddy. Not so no, lucky. No. All right. Here's what I'm thinking. This looks like a stage to me. I, yeah. This was here already, and I'm like, oh, this would be a good spot, possibly. Ooh, and plenty of room, too. You could put a whole band up here. Oh, all right. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, but I'll just, <laughs> I can only afford the drum set at the moment. <laughs> Always the upseller. <laughs> That's me. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay, yeah. I mean, like right here, about about in the middle here. Yeah, that'd be perfect. Okay, I can do that. Yes. Okay. Awesome. Sweet. All right, man. Well, you got your diamonds already. Paid you up front, so I'm looking forward to it. A lot of trust. Okay. Well, I'll uh, I'll <laughs> deliver within a reasonable amount of time. Oh yeah, and I'll I'll show you how to get out. It's okay. This one. That's good. That's oh. important. Okay. <laughs> Does the tree look a little different to you guys? Anyway, let's start working on this library. The first thing that needs to go is this floor. Hi, John. This floor is just its just too much brown. There's a lot of brown going on here. I mean, all you see is brown. We don't want this library to be like, oh, look, another room in this tree that is brown. Well, most of it. The walls are still going to be brown, I'm sure. Um, and then some things that I'm putting in there are probably going to be brown because they're made of wood. But this floor, this floor needn't be brown. Ah, yes. A nice, inviting green carpet. It just screams library to me. It's time to start laying out our columns of knowledge. So we're going to place one of them here-ish. I don't know how far out I should go. Probably not this far out. I want to I wanna have a little space in between the thing. Um, no, no, no. We'll, we'll move it back one because I want to have enough room to like walk around without having to like um, scrunch and scoot and all that stuff and, and turn sideways. Uh, okay, so that's good right there. Let's put this one there. Perfect. That's going to be one column of books. Then we're going to skip three blocks right here, and then we're going to do another column here of books. Is it a column or a row when they're like, it's a wall. It's a wall of books. Yeah, this will be kind of nice. What, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take it all the way to the ceiling uh, just to, to give it that epic feel of, of awesomeness. Yeah, the epic feel of awesomeness. I think that'll be nice. So there's going to be four rows there. Then I'm also going to do a wall of books here. Um, so we'll go like this. I also got to create a couple looms because the looms make perfect empty bookshelves if you haven't already figured that out. Let's take this one all the way to the end too, actually. Let's do that. Perfect. You know what's great about this is I can hide lighting in there. Also, if I wanted to do, to do the same thing that Eskal was doing before where he put barrels and he put his enchanted books uh, uh, hidden underneath the library uh, things, uh, under the, underneath these things. I could still do that here. I could put barrels right here, and then I can grab, oh, look, a Fortune 3 book. Boom. Um, so I can do that as well if I wanted to copy him, quote, unquote. But right now, I have some looms to make, and I have some, I have some bookshelves to place. Yikes. The library's looking grand. It feels epic. And now I think we have to have some books back here. Now, I don't know... I think about here is right. This is where I was planning to do it anyway. I think about here is right. But what we're going to do here, instead of just having books, we're going to have sort of like a secret room. It's not going to be that secret because there's going to be a door obviously placed like right there. So maybe not super secret, but secret enough. Wait a minute. I got to place this one from this side. No, wrong blocks. I think we're good in terms of books in this library, okay? This is going to be a big uh, area where there's a, like a table where you can take a book and actually sit down and read it. So these are all your books. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. Eskal would be proud of Beef Scal. So you might be wondering, uh, why are there notches cut into the bottom? <laughs> I'm not sure. If <laughs> I know that's probably not your voice. But anyway, you might be wondering, why are there notches cut into the bottom of these book walls? Uh, well, that's because how the heck are you going to access a book way up there? Goofy, you have to have ladders, okay? You gotta have ladders, which I don't have on my inventory. That would have been convenient. 
So we're going to put some... Is that Okay, there we go. I did have ladders in my inventory because I'm an idiot and I didn't notice them. Uh, we're going to have ladders going up, but not just ladders, guys, because imagine, imagine you want to get a book way over on... That's a bad example. Way over on that side and your ladder only reaches i mean you could only reach really what's over on either side of you so you can't reach over there so we're gonna have to have platforms along with these ladders platforms that will allow us to get up there get off the ladder walk around the platform and pick out the books we want and speaking of Eskal, he has summoned me ah, i don't know what he wants i'm sure it's gonna be annoying talking to me about how awesome his hacienda is i'm oh, sorry it's pronounced hacienda how awesome his hacienda is and how he's lucky he doesn't even have the tree anymore. I'm sure that's exactly what he wants to talk about. Anyway, let's go meet up with him. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I, I didn't know whether or not you would come to this. I mean, there there is a massive boat in the background, but you knew. You knew. Um, I mean, this is my boat. No. I, I, there's no. no other boat. This is my boat. This or oh, your boat. Sorry. Oh. It's my boat. It's not your boat no, anymore. No, it's your boat. Nice boat, though. Look at it. You got the, your fishing lines and everything. That's pretty good. Guess what? What? It also has uh, hidden hidden chickens inside. Oh, I know. I know. Be yep. Do you know how I know? No. Because I built it. But it's yours now, oh, apparently. You, you sold it. Yeah. 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 Well, Bobby and, Bobby and Johnny, the chickens. <laughs> I never named them. There's, there's uh, yeah. Wait, is there only two? I think there's four in here. You need to come up with two more names. Just saying. Uh, well, the other, the other, the, yes, but the, you put me on the spot like that. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that there was four. Okay, now I feel like a bad boat owner. Billy and Jessica. Billy and Jessica. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Bobby, Johnny, Billy, I, and Jessica. I have something to show you. Okay. I, I have. I have created for you a present. You've Follow created me. a gift for me? Yep. Ooh. Yep. Okay. I like gifts. Gifts are cool. By the way, can I just say, that arcade machine? Yeah. Woof. You liked it, Absolutely right? Absolutely brilliant. Oh, I man. I checked it out. So cool. Yeah, I really liked it, too. I need to build, like, a, I need to start, like, an arcade machine uh, shop at, at Spawn. Nobody's going to buy it. Just, like, my stupid instruments. Dang it. Well, you never know. Maybe. Someone may. <laughs> Someone may. <laughs> I might get one sale. Well, here oh. we are. Oh. Here we are in my backyard. Who is this um interesting looking gentleman? <laughs> well, this is say hello to Tommy Boy. Tommy Boy. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and see, you see, when when I toured your, uh, I mean, my new house, mm -hmm. I I found I found out that your best friend is a dispenser with a hopper on it, and I figured you probably want something better than 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 what is the name of this guy, Eric? George. George. This is George. I can't believe you insulted George like that. I mean, he throws his balls at me. I mean, tennis ball. Like he fires his tennis balls at. Never mind what George does. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about Tommy Boy here. I don't know this guy. Tommy uh, Boy is Tommy Boy is uh, is a uh, he's a uh, he's he's a very intelligent boy. Okay. So so just just a quick observation. He 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 looks kind of like an evil villain. Like he doesn't have any hair. He has this like strange. He has hair. He has hair. He does have hair. Where's yeah, his hair? Come, come, fly up. He has perfect amount of hair. <laughs> it's even worse. Now he looks like an overgrown baby. <laughs> With his little tiny hair at the top. It's it's Tommy Boy. Now he looks so upset. He's, like he's looking up. Like ugh. Yeah, he's a bit annoyed at the moment. You're okay. not wrong. He's a bit annoyed at the moment. And this is where the beauty comes in. You see, your new best friend, yeah. Tommy Boy, yes. needs caring for. And who better to care than then Beef Skull. I have to care right? for Tommy Boy? Check this out. He he has snack time, and, and that is that there is exclusive bamboo. The only thing he will eat. I, I will, I'll go and sleep. I see that you're he, starting to get worried. He eats I'll, bamboo? Uh, <laughs> no, no. He eats exclusive bamboo. Oh. Exclusively. <laughs> Ex exclusive bamboo exclusively. Okay. All right. Yes. Yes. He is... um. 
I mean, he's he's not somebody I would want hanging around in my backyard. <laughs> oh, well, you don't know. You don't know. You've only seen him grumpy. Like, let's try and make him happy. Go okay. Up and feed him. Give him his exclusive bamboo in this here chest. Oh, the chest. Okay. And then, then he. Sh which chest? He shall be that chest there. Yeah. There's, There's no bamboo in here. Chest. No, yeah, I gave you one. I gave you an exclusive bamboo. Oh. You have one in your inventory. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I just put this exclusive bamboo yeah. in here. Now watch him. See if he reacts to your exclusive bamboo. And he's going to start smiling because that'd be great because he needs he needs to cheer up, Buttercup. He's, uh, he's still a bit grumpy. Here, I'm going to give you some more. <laughs> one at a time, though. He doesn't... We don't want to make okay. him fat. All right, all right. One ex exclusive a bamboo. bamboo has okay. a lot of sugar in it. I guess so. All right, well... He's got a nice belt. I'll give him that. Yeah, it's a golden belt. It looks like an expensive belt. Should I give him some more? Yeah, give him another one. Okay, I mean, he's, right. a, he's, he's a, a hungry boy today. Yeah, he's hungry. Boy, he's he's hungry. hungry. Oh, 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 his eyes oh. just opened up. See? He's like, what? What's going on? Give him more. more. Give him more. Oh, this is exciting. Yeah. Come here, Tommy. More. Here, have some more exclusive. Oh, see? His little he mouth. He turned into good times with Scar. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> he sure did. Okay, one more. One more exclusive bamboo. Oh, hey, look at He's all happy. You made him happy. And he gave you a oh, gift. Get out of here. He gave me a gift? He gave you a gift because because you were nice. Can I ask why it's brown? <laughs> it's just uh, what, one of his colors. What is this? Tommy's he's magic wand. It's being, it's being nice to you. I didn't think about the shelter box, but... A, a bush? Yeah. It's a great gift. Look at it. Wow. Wow, the, isn't isn't it beautiful? If you zoom in a lot on that, it you could almost think it's like an omega tree. Um, I uh, yeah. Did you just throw Thomas magic wand <laughs> on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you? I just wanted to throw it on the floor just to get a better look at it. Yeah, that's ah, um, okay. that's something. That's something. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Th thanks, Tommy. Every time. So here's the thing. You have to care for him, and if you do, every time he gives you very special gifts, like super, super cool gifts. Okay, so so and if stuff. I give him more exclusive bamboo, he'll give me cool gifts like this, uh, like this magic wand. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. if I if I don't if I don't care for him, he uh, he doesn't uh, he doesn't give me any gifts. Doesn't give you any gifts. Okay, that'd be no. a shame. Uh, That's, then uh, he gets grumpy too and bad. sad. Well, he's starting to get he's he's all scarred yeah, up again right now. I I think we only have five. There's only ever five exclusive bamboo in the world, so I have to take it up from his belly. But you can you can feed him again if you want. Okay, okay. It's, he's not gonna give you he's not gonna give you a gift every time. He's playing a bit hard to catch sometimes. Okay. Sometimes he just gets happy and oh. he's like, okay, he's yeah, happy let's again. If, let's see if he's happy and give you a gift or maybe I should give him another not. one. Oh no, you know what? You can only he will only give you gifts once every five minutes. Okay. Because he's not he's like. Gotcha. You know, he's not gonna yeah. just he does, he doesn't, do everything. Right. Yeah. No, well, he's yep. uh he's something. He's something. Good good job. Yeah. But here's the thing though. You can't you can't have Tommy Boy unless you own the Hacienda. It comes with the Hacienda. Oh, that's too bad, huh? Way better than George. Yeah, that's that's too bad. Alright, I'll see you later. Do you not do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean we could trade, right? Like Trade what? I, what do you want to trade? I could trade, like I could trade, say, I don't know, Omega Tree deed for, for your deed, and I mean, I I guess I'd be a bit sad. Oh, but but, but I'm I just built a bedroom in the Omega Tree. I'm making it feel at home. Yeah, yeah, this is true. Yeah, I built a bedroom too. Check it out. Where's your bedroom? I have over here. I found this nice quartz uh, <laughs> stage, so uh, this is where I sleep. Um, I do want to apologize uh, that I did not build the bedroom in the hacienda. <laughs> it's just no, basically I, a bed I in my storage this. room. Um, yeah, no, that's that's a good bedroom too. I feel like you'd be happy yeah. to sleep on a piano. I mean, that's pretty I good. Am. That's great. Yeah. So congrats on that. Um, I think I'll go back to my bedroom. All right. Uh, with yeah, is, yeah, with my arcade machine and stuff. Bit awkward. Eh, it's not awkward. All right. It's, it All is right. What it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I. Uh... Good job on Tommy boy. He looks great. <laughs> <laughs> he hates it. Boy, that was a weird dude, wasn't it? 
And Tommy Boy was weird too. Anyway, let's build these um, platforms, shall we? I think what I do, uh, I want to have it so that it goes, huh, how do I do this? Oh, right. So this has to be up one block so that I can put this as my railing. We want to have these because I want it to look like not solid floors, right? I want it to look like there's like a, a metal or iron floors. And I could use iron trap doors, but uh, they don't bend <laughs> like this at will. You need a button. So I'm going to use this wood. I think it's going to look nice. It'll actually match the place a little bit better anyway. Um, okay, so we got to put it. We got to put these down here. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yes. It looks epic. Like, come on. If this is not a place you come to sit and learn about life and all of life's things that it offers, then I don't know what is. Let's get a couple of these guys going in here just so that we have, and I know it might be affecting the outside too. Hopefully not that much because I, d despite what everybody thinks, I love the Omega Tree. I'm not even sure if you guys think that I don't love it, but I do love it anyway. So let's just uh, get a couple of those guys going there. Let me see, how should I manage to do? Oh, I think it actually, I was thinking there might be a, another side to this wall that I have to worry about, but I think that's okay. There is this. Do I have, maybe we'll just do like a, something like that and then like that. Look at that. It looks natural and stuff, right? We have to do a lot of lighting as well because there are going to be zero torches, zero torches in this room. Uh, maybe one torch, maybe one torch in this room. <laughs> but we have to do a lot of lighting changes. But before we do that, let's go ahead. I like the way these look. Hold on a second. Let's do another one there. Maybe do another one there. The problem is, I think these are all interior. Yeah, okay. So that's, these are all interior right here. I Well, most of them anyway. So uh, I like the occasional texture change. And I hope it's not affecting the outside too much. Um, but I think that's going to be okay. Let's just make sure we have a couple of those going there. Like so. It's just too much of this brown stuff. You know what I mean, guys? I mean, if you were designing this, would you not do the same? You know what? You know what this spot right here is good for? I think maybe here we put a little table. Uh, let's do that. Okay. Okay, yeah. Let's build the big table in the back and now this little tiny table here at the front. Perfect little nook right here. Yeah, sit down. Stay a while. Read if, if you must. What am I doing? Right there. Um, let's do the chair here. Yeah, because this also acts as part of the table. Speaking of which, why not put a little, a little, a little this right there? You know, everybody wants a little lighting while they're studying for stuff. I don't know what's going on. Uh, we're gonna use these as armrests, not not pumpkin pie. These guys right here because I like the way they look. They're kind of cool. Yeah, this is a nice little chair here at this table, and then eventually we'll put maybe a book down here or something. But that's that's the decorative stage later. Um, now let's build the big table in the back. A nice, long, spruce trapdoor table. I think it fits the vibe in here pretty well. Uh, now we have to have some seating, and I think I'm going to mix it up. Maybe put a chair here, a slab here, then we'll do a chair. Again, we want to, like, offset this thing. We don't want symmetry. We've got to resist symmetry. So this chair is a little bit offset from the rest, and maybe we can even have a chair here. Oh no, we can't because the legs are there. Okay, so we'll just we'll just stick with these four chairs. I think that's probably pretty good. Or maybe we'll just have three. We could just have three chairs. Let's do that. I think that will bother me less <laughs> if there's three chairs. We'll put a chair like this here, and then we'll do a slab chair on this side, like so. And once again, the armrests uh, will be these guys. But I have a little bit of something I want to try. I haven't tried this before because um, I've never I've never dealt with invisible item frames here on this server. But if I do, this one will probably leave like this. If I put like a banner here and I rotate the banner so that it faces up sort of at an angle, I think that'll make a pretty good armrest and a white banner especially and it'll match the chairs. So let's try that real quick. So let's do that command again. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. I kind of like that. I mean, we could still rotate them, right? Oh, that might even be better. Just a little tiny, little tiny arm. Not like that, that's for sure. Just something like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, let's do that then. Let's have them all face like this. And then we'll do that command again. This is, um, if you if you don't know, this is like, um, uh, 
is it called a data pack? I don't know what it's called. Uh, it's a it's a pack that's exclusive to her, not exclusive to Hermitcraft, but Hermitcraft has it installed on the server. So, um, yeah, it's it's not something that every server can have, unfortunately, because it's kind of cool. But uh, we'll make use of it here. I think that's fine. Then we'll have one of these chairs kind of like to match the front chair. I wonder what this would look like with that thing. Maybe back like this. I don't like it. Guys, you might be wondering, hey, Beef, what's behind the door? What's the point of that little tiny room you got there? Well, there it is. It's an enchanting room. I thought I'd make this room a little bit more um, useful, I guess. I know e -Scal, um doesn't work the same way. His mind doesn't work the same way Beef Scal's mind works in that I just want decorative stuff everywhere. <laughs> decorations, decorations everywhere. Um, and so I wanted to make it a little bit more functional just to, to honor e -Scal's way of doing things uh, instead of my way of doing things. Can I enchant? I don't have anything that needs enchanting. I just want to make sure I can get my 30 levels. I'm pretty sure I can. Let's go ahead and put this or replace that, I should say. I shouldn't use this axe either because I'm losing all my actual ugh, stuff. Okay, we'll have a couple of empty bookshelves. Unfortunately, I don't think we might be able to have an empty bookshelf here, actually. Let me see. We're going to have to test something to see if we can get our full uh, enchantments out of it. But I think we might be able to have an empty bookshelf here and there and still get the 30 levels out of this thing. Uh, let's put this one. Ooh, that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I think all you need is 15. And there's 16 here, if I'm not mistaken, if my count is correct. Look at it, guys. It looks fantastic. Um, let's begin the decorative process. Once again, I told you, we are going to get rid of all of... I killed the spider here, by the way, in case you're wondering what that is. We're going to get rid of all these torches. We're going to replace them with nice lighting options. Let's begin that now. First thing we're doing is we're putting sea lanterns down under every single one of these front blocks here because that will already start to light up most of the room actually so um yeah there's no need for any of these torches or torch spam and stuff i think i think eskal even even hates it believe it or not huh does eskal hate torch spam oh next we don't even have to make a hole there we could just put that there we'll put that there so we've got lighting here lighting here lighting here like this will all be well lit and then maybe we'll put one in the mid oh there's already a torch here look at that beautiful so all these guys did i do one here i did good um that's fine we got this lighting up this section over here let's get rid of this torch right there hopefully it's not going to be too dark what's the um does it say block light here is there, is there eight block light nine block light okay so over here we are safe very safe actually well let's get this one out too maybe that one was helping the block light Nine, eight, nine, eight, eight, nine, twelve. We're good, guys. We're good. Second thing we want to do, I want to put down a carpet here in the middle because of how bare it is. It's gonna serve two purposes, first of all. Oh, also we can we can do this. Right? Right there, that's pretty good. But we want it to be well lit, and again, I don't like how bare it is here in the middle, so we're just gonna put a two wide runner just down here, just to add a little bit of visual interest when you walk into the library that looks good um i wish there was like a darker green i could add i don't want to do lime green i've tried other other colors too and i just don't think they look very good so we're just going to go with the yellow and then of course underneath these yellow carpets we can occasionally put some sea lanterns again this area is already pretty well lit so we don't have to go too crazy with it but um just because we want to get rid of all these torches let's go ahead and do that it's already looking cleaner and neater. Now I'm just going to go around and put strategically placed torches where, or not torches, sorry, lanterns, where I think it would look nice. Like right here, for example. Maybe you're up here reading a book and you need a little lighting option. Maybe right in the corner there. That that would be kind of cool. So let's do that now. Um, even up here in certain places. Now the way these are set up, I can't actually place lanterns on them. Um, because, because the other lighting option that comes into effect, I want it to hang just a couple chains here and there. Um, and I want them to be all different heights as well, too. So we're gonna, we're gonna try to make that happen. Maybe we'll do one down here. This one will be pretty low. Maybe too low. And that's at the same level, isn't it? Okay, so what we'll do here, 
is we'll raise this one i'm i'm really weird when it comes to this kind of stuff i hate when things are symmetrical in this game for some reason um so if i do stuff like this that seems to not make sense to you trust me it makes sense to me now for this last one i don't know what we should do about this maybe we won't have lights hanging on this one at all what we do want though is we want lecterns at the end of each one of these rows that's why i flattened this right here and didn't put the trap door on this block beautiful now two of them will have books and two of them won't we can even write something in these later but for now we'll just leave them open like this and we'll do this one so that that kind of bothers me one does have it one doesn't and it's too patterny for me but that's okay we're gonna ignore that for now it's fine everything is fine we're gonna put a barrel down we're gonna put some oak leaves so it looks like a little plant here in the corner but i can store all of my lapis and stuff and enchanting supplies i guess right there and then up here my friends up here please ignore this part maybe we can boop there we go uh <laughs> actually i don't like the way that looks at all that's okay we're just gonna never look up there and see that it's actually a loom it's fine up here we will do this and then we'll put a little bit of this action a little bit more greenery added to the space. This is nice. And now we're going to finish it off with, of course, we have, since we're following the theme here, we're going to have some leaves. That's not where I wanted that leaf, actually. We're going to have some leaves dangling from the ceiling. Oh, baby. What do you guys think? That's this room done. Nothing too crazy, but it looks nice and warm and inviting and, and comforting. It says enchant here, for I am warm and inviting and comforting. I think in this corner behind the table, we're just going to have um, an armor stand with some armor and stuff. We'll put it on. Ooh, can we put it on this? We probably can. If we put something like that, I don't know if this will work, will it? Yes, it will. And it's facing this way, too. That's kind of cool. Let's get some armor to put on that thing. I've got a lantern here. We can get these off from here. I did want to put like a tall lamp here or something. I'm not sure exactly how to do that. Maybe end rods. And I was thinking of using this as like a lampshade. Um, I think that's something we can do. I think that's something we can do. I want it so that it doesn't attach to anything. The fence I'm talking about. Um, and then just something like that. That looks like a little lamp right by the table. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. Now, I got to leaf up this corner too. I didn't get any armor. There we go. All right, so I got a little carried away off camera. I did a lot of um, decorating and stuff off camera because I realized if I was going to show you every little thing I did, it was going to take a long time. and It was going to be a super long video. So are you guys ready to see the Omega Library of Awesomeness? There it is. Ooh, isn't that cool? I like it. I like it a lot. I think it looks fantastic. Let me show you some details I added. Um, not sure what I've shown you on camera and off, so maybe I'll just like <laughs> come over here and show you the general gist of things, and then you can decide whether I've showed it to you or not. Uh, but there it is. There's this section right here. Um, then we got like in each one of these nooks, I have something different, you know, um, obviously I've got like the book strewn and the paper strewn along the floor here just because, you know, sometimes, sometimes your quest for knowledge gets in the way of cleaning things up or cleaning up after yourself. Um, I've got some leaves, leaves, not leaves, leaves coming from the ceiling and I hid, I mean, hid is a loose term. For what I did but I hung some lanterns here and there I didn't want them to be the focal point I wanted the leafy roof to be the focal point but I wanted some light up there because otherwise it just looked way too dark and dull and boring so there's some lanterns up there again like I said every single one of these nooks has something to look at here got some plant life some books um, laying down here I added this little section here because I thought this was looking a little too bland so we got a little book action there oh and I think I added some book action off camera as well to the front there I don't think that was uh, was shown to you guys here's the table um remember i said i'd get rid of all the torches well all the torches are gone and i did say except for one this is the one you know those old timey little candle holder things where the wax drips into like like the bottom part there the tray this is what that looks like it even looks like because of the item frame it even looks like it has that little curly piece where you put your finger through and you carry it around i hope you know what i'm talking about but there it is um there's the lantern i think i showed you that this thing i think i showed you um this little corner here not too special but looks pretty good um then we've got this room here which i've shown you but yeah i think this is probably i mean i've built a couple libraries in my time i think this is probably 
the the best one I've ever built. My favorite, the Omega Library of Awesomeness. Um, what do you think? Guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I had a great time. Look at this wonderful library behind me. I'm just going to go over there and spend some time learning. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Remember to click the like video if you enjoyed the video. Um, it took me it took me a long time, so I'd appreciate just a simple little like from you guys. And click the notification bell if you want to be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ooh, hold on. Disappearing beef. Where is he? Some Oh, somewhere around here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.